Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time watching, then welcome. Today I'm doing my intro before the makeup because I feel like once I do the makeup it's going to look kind of crazy because what I'm doing today is I'm going to be doing this thing that I saw on, I saw it on Twitter but it is like a TikTok trend. It's where people do like green makeup and then they use some editing software to, you know, use it as a green screen and play like really cool psychedelic looking patterns over top of the makeup. It's kind of hard to explain but I'll insert a little clip here so you guys can see where my inspiration is coming from. I can't remember off the top of my head who started this so I'll pop that on the screen as well because I just don't like to be prepared, you know, <laughs> that's just toxic personality trait of mine. I think it's only going to look good once I do the editing so I wanted to just like start off clean and also normally I'll do my foundation after I do my eye makeup so that I don't get any like fallout on my face or anything but I'm not too worried about that today because it's kind of simple, kind of a simple look. But anyway let's just get on into the tutorial so if you would like to see how I create my green screen look then keep on watching. So like I said before, I've already got my foundation on and you can obviously see that already. And um, I'm going to start off with the top of the eye first and just get that out of the way before moving on to the rest of the look. So I'm going to be taking a flat rounded concealer brush and my P. Louise base in the shade Room is Zero. And I'm applying this to the top of the eye in a kind of winged out cut crease shape. So applying this with patting motions all the way across the crease to the outer corner of the eye and then winging that up towards the tip of my eyebrow. And I'm bringing this down in a winged liner, kind of, you know, a sharp winged liner edge to meet the under eye area. Making sure that we just get a nice even application of this and the patting motions really does help with that. And in the outer corner of my eye, I'm going to be using an eyeliner brush just so I can get that nice and sharp because, you know, the other brush is rounded. And then just filling that all in. Okay, so we've got the base on the eye. And now we're going to add the green screen color to the eye. So I'm going to be using my Helen E. Neon Pigment in the shade Neon Green. And I'm taking these two brushes, so an all over shader brush and then just a mini eyeshadow brush. I'm using the all over shader brush to pack on the green to the majority of the white that we've applied and then I'm using the smaller brush to get right up close to the edge of that cut crease and just trying to make sure that the color is even across the whole eye and just getting the color covering the entire white part. <laughs> looks like a neck. Okay so that is the top of the eye complete and it's a bit disappointing because it's kind of darker around the edge where I use that different brush so I'm hoping that my editing software will kind of like recognize that it's the same color so it doesn't mess it up but we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway what I'm going to do next is I'm taking that same eyeliner brush that I was using for the top of the eye and my P. Louise base and I'm moving on to the under eye area now and I'm going to draw some like drips coming down from the eye. So I'm just going to do like three maybe large drips and just trying to make that you know as much surface area as possible but still looking like proportionate to the rest of the eye because we want to be able to see as much of the psychedelic patterns that we put on there afterwards. So just applying that and then once I've got the shape right and it's nice and even and I've got the base, you know, fully coloured in with the base, then I'm going to go in with the green and just apply that like I did to the top of the eye. So using the larger brush to fill in the larger areas and then going in with the smaller brush to get right up close to the edges and just get the rest of it filled in. Okay, so that is the eyes complete. Sorry if you hear some background noises, the lawns are getting mowed at the moment so I'm trying to like find my timing. <laughs> but yeah that took ages to do the eyes and now like my foundation is starting to rub off because I've been like resting on my face and kind of like sweating on it so 
that's a little bit disappointing but oh well what I want to do now is make it look like I've got the drip coming out of my mouth so I'm going to just do it like in the middle and I'm going to go over the lip so I'm taking the eyeliner brush and the base and I'm doing the same thing with the drips and just doing this like in the center of the bottom lip so it looks like it's actually dripping out and yeah just basically doing the same thing just applying that base and getting that shape right and then moving on to the green and just applying that using those same two brushes getting the color nice and even and getting the drip shapes right okay so that part is done I decided to do the drips along the whole bottom lip because it looked weird just coming out from the middle and now I'm going to put some lipstick on the top lip so I'm thinking like just kind of like a darker nude so I'm going to use my MAC retro matte lipwear in the shade Lady Be Good. Next I'm going to add some highlights. So I'm going to be taking my cremated palette and going in with this shade here called Afterlife and I'm using these two brushes so with the small pencil brush I'm going to be applying this to my tear duct and my brow bone and then using the large fluffy brush I'm applying this to my cheekbones and the tip of my nose okay now the last thing left for the makeup portion is just to add mascara and eyelashes so I'm going to be using my EXO Beauty foaming lashes these are in the style Cupid I'm going to pop these on off camera and then we can move on to the editing portion. Okay, so I use Adobe Premiere Pro for all my editing, but I want to use these videos that I took on my camera for TikTok. So make sure you change the sequence size to match the dimensions for the TikTok um, videos. And then I'm picking out which portion of this video that I want to use. So <clears throat> finding a short, you know, few second long video that I can do my editing on. And now I'm just going to drag that over to the second video layer in my sequence and I'm going to make this a bit bigger so it covers the entire screen. And just making sure it lines up properly. And next we want to go and find our video that we're going to have displayed on the green screen. So I just got this psychedelic looking video off of YouTube and I'm using a few other videos that I got off YouTube as well. So doing the same thing with this and just finding a short segment of this to yeah, display on the green screen. And once we've found that, then we'll put that on the first layer. Then I'm going to go over to Effect Controls and rotate it 90 degrees and just expand it so it covers the whole screen. And then I'm going to go over to Effects and go to Ultra Key, key and drag that onto the top video. And then go down to Key Color and select the dropper and click on the green. And that'll just remove everything in that video that is that green color. Leaving us with the video that's underneath showing through and making it look like we have rainbow makeup. So it's really quite easy and I'm doing this for a lot of separate videos. So I've got all these different ones here and I'm just going to save this and export it. And then I'll airdrop them to my phone and you know edit them all on TikTok to create my TikTok video. Warrior. Okay, so hopefully that turned out well. I haven't done the editing yet, so I'm yet to find out. But um, it's really fun for me to be doing something a little bit different and combining like 
a love of kind of filmmaking type stuff and makeup together. It's like a mashup of art and technology, which I really like. Obviously the look by itself is kind of wacky and weird, but um, I guess that's the whole point of this, you know, look. But yeah, let me know down below if you guys like this type of thing. I can probably think of some more type of like editing videos or ways that I can integrate some technology type stuff into my videos. I don't know. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. But yeah, this has been a lot of fun. I hope you guys have liked the video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down. But if you did, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and tick that bell button so you can get notified every time I post a new video. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.